As the director for Animal Health and Food Safety Services, my primary job is to be sure that we're all working together in order to meet our mission. The primary mission of Animal Health and Food Safety Services is to protect the health of the livestock and poultry populations of the state, as well as ensure that the milk and dairy and food supply is safe and consistent and abundant. One of the biggest challenges we face here in California is twofold. It's the size of the state, there's large number of animals, and also there's a lot of movement in and out of the state. So the only way we can really successfully ensure for the health of the livestock and poultry is to all work together. So we work with private veterinarians and with animal owners to make sure that we reach our goals. Here at the Department of Food and Agriculture, we have a very diverse group of highly trained professionals. We have veterinarians that are specifically trained to recognize and diagnose diseases that you wouldn't normally see here in the state but could have catastrophic consequences. We also have dairy food specialists who are very familiar with the complex technology that goes into a modern processing plant as well as the most important basic sanitation that occurs on every dairy. Besides that, we have meat food inspectors who are specially trained to look at the small meat processing plants that you'll find throughout the state. I think one of the most important things for the public to know and to remember is that we're a part of your community. Our veterinarians and dairy food specialists are working with you to ensure that the food that we eat is there tomorrow and the next day and remains consistently safe and abundant. It's important to know that when we have a crisis that affects our division here, it's usually a rapidly spreading virus. So that's something that we need to get the information out to the public very quickly so that we can all work together to control the disease. Or perhaps a food contamination. Again, that information needs to get out to the public very quickly. There are several ways we spread that information. Probably the most effective way is working directly with the media. Another way we provide information is through our website. We also have direct contact with various industry groups and animal agriculture groups that would be directly impacted so we can reach them immediately and directly.